hello and welcome to a new video in golang tutorial for beginners so in today's video we'll look at the composition in golang so so the golang programming language is not a traditional object oriented language like c++ and java a key feature supporting traditional object oriented design is inheritance inheritance supports sharing of code and data between related objects and we have classes and objects also Golang does not support inheritance however it does support composition so what is composition in general so in general words composition means putting together for example composition of a car a car is composed of wheels engine doors and various other parts composition can be achieved in golang by embedding one struct type into another struct also called as embedding So now let's look at an example of composition. So this is our earlier code of struct. What I will do is I will comment all this so that uh, I can add I can add the composition code below this, and I will share the link of the GitHub repository in the video description so that you can also try it out. So we'll just create a heading as composition. in golang now we'll call package main then we'll have import statement for fmt library then we have function main and now we'll call we will declare two structures so the first structure would be vehicle and this will be of type struct open close curly braces inside this we will give two struct fields first would be the name of the vehicle so we will give name and the type would be string then next would be type so this will be a vehicle type this will be of also string type and below this we'll create one more struct the name would be car and type would be struct open close curly braces and inside this we'll give two struct fields first would be max speed that is of the car and we'll be giving the value as float rate to then next would be fuel type so what are, what is the type of the fuel the car uses so this will be of type string and now i will show you how to embed this vehicle struct into this car struct so you just you have to give the name of the struct structure you, you want to include so we will include vehicle just give it as this so what this will do this will embed this vehicle struct into this car struct now in the main function what we can give is we can create an instance of a car struct so we'll name it as c colon equal to we'll call the struct car open close curly braces so this will create an instance of car struct at c now we can use the instance as c dot we can call the struct field of a vehicle structure so it will be name and we can give value as ferrari then next we can give as c dot type equals to convertible then we can give c dot max speed equals to let's say 250 then we can give c dot fuel type equal to diesel and in the end we can just print it out and you can just print c and this is done so you can see that uh, it is giving us warning because we have given it as c as capital and v as capital of vehicle and car that means it is getting exported so now just we'll go ahead and run this
and you can see the output as inside curly braces there is embedded curly braces and it is having ferrari and convertible and next is 250 and diesel so this embedded means that it is of uh, it is coming from the vehicle struct and it is embedded you can do one more thing you can use dot syntax to get a value of particular struct field for example name and you can just go ahead and run this and it will print ferrari it looks like car is inheriting the properties of vehicle as you can see here but it's not in here Golang is automatically passing the control to embedded vehicle struct for the name field as you can see here and car is not a vehicle it's an independent struct that embeds it as you can see here overall it means that car is not a vehicle but car has a vehicle so has means composition as you can see car has this vehicle it means composition and if it was car is a vehicle it would be inheritance but there is no inheritance in golang so that is not present if you want to make the car as is a vehicle then there is a concept called in interfaces i'll show you that in the next videos but keep in mind that this is the use case of uh, composition in golang so now let's look at the let literal syntax so for literal syntax what we need to do is we don't need to give like this this is helpful if you are going with the, this normal syntax but if you are going with the literal syntax when you are creating the instance it will be like this and inside this you have to give the details of the all the structure fields so first would be vehicle then will we have a colon and this will have since we are embedding the vehicle we have to give the structure of vehicle so inside here we have to give name colon the value of that that will be ferrari comma because this is an initializer block and it's literal syntax then type colon we have to give the string as convertible here And after this, we will have to put a comma and then we have to give max speed colon 250 comma fuel type colon diesel. Now if you go ahead and run this, let me clear this out. It will print the same value as Ferrari convertible, embed it as a vehicle inside a car, then 250 and diesel that is of car struct. So keep in mind that we are working with literal syntax. We have to provide the internal structure like this of the vehicle structure. And when we are not using literal syntax, we can directly call the struct variables using dot syntax that I have shown you already in the beginning of the video. So that's all guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.